you are, logics being in this, you know, people are open to this, are far more open to everything, um, and, you know, you're not going to have such a huge fight with it. But uh, the huge instance of spirits in here, you three are not meant to be here, at least one of you is not meant to be here. We had a huge, I had a huge blowout with Frontes. I owe, you know, I'm part of on this, for these properties, and I've had as many as 13 people. Now they put a restriction, only six people allowed in one unit. And this morning I was yelling at them, they heard me yelling at them, and I can get nasty, I tell you. Um, yelling at the front desk and the guard gate, and saying, you know, what the hell is going on? Excuse my French. But everything, and it, you know, only a lonely, a large six people, and two people I had to ask them to leave, one I had to say not come to the class, because I I, this is seven, not six, right? How did you get in? Um, very easily. Because they changed the door up. Yeah. And I'm not sure it's them. And I was putting, I mean, for the last couple of days, you know, putting out the spirit to have everything work out beautifully. Thank you. Perfect. And it was meant to sail be. through and problems. <laughs> not this morning, because it just shows it's an underlying fact that spirit does operate in your lives. I'm not kidding how much you can change in your life, okay? So basically, yeah, the emotionals are uh, going to be far more, um, I hate to say the dizzy spells, you're going to, every time there's a shift in energy, and remember, it's not like a light switch, you can just switch on, but they're going to elevate your, uh, increase your energy. And by the way, be careful driving home because we're gonna do the exercises, um, and those stay for um, the mirror mirror class. Um, yeah are going to really be double dosed, okay? Because you're gonna be, when I send you into meditation, you can wake up anytime, don't get scared, but you can wake up anytime during the meditation, but um, basically, I'm going to increase your energy so high, because then you will, you will be able to get the information, especially for tonight, okay? Or oh, this afternoon, but this morning, it's going to be a bit lighter, but um, you'll see how to manipulate your energy, okay? And that's how I read you, is not through, uh, it's through energy. I mean, I read for people all over the world. I uh, on the radio every two weeks, and they've got a high, huge um, um, audience. Don't ask me why, but other than America, Russia, Federation really likes me. <laughs> Don't ask me why, but anyway, well, very high on Russia. But basically, um, so when you're dizzy, and I didn't take care of this when I first started knowing about this, or realizing it, I got into an accident. And they were trying to communicate to me but, that my poor um, Jim was um, having a colonoscopy and they actually went through the colon. And they were trying to tell me to go back to the hospital and, you know, if something's wrong, I didn't listen. And I got into an accident. So it's just all kinds of good things. So it always be aware of your intuition. Trust it, okay? And that's what we're all here for, is to, other than protect yourself is to also trust far more. Okay. I would strongly, strongly advise that you go and get it smaller or to put in your handbag or carry with you because you're going to get messages far more than you've ever got before that you're going to be receiving. Um, there is another class I'll teach if I get time and that is to teach you to ramp up all your senses. Be clear, audio, clear, sentient and what you are by the way. But primarily, one thing. You're um, primarily a large percentage, like 60, 40, or 80, 20, depends. One, uh, one of the uh, things that I am, and then secondarily, you've got another. Okay, we're all everything, but primarily two. And we're going to do a quick exercise to find out what you are, because you have to be a kind of a visual. Um, I'm trying to ramp you up, and I'm going to see what level you're at. I know already, but I want you to know. It's no good me knowing. Um, so we're going to do a quick exercise to do that visualization. Um, so basically, uh, you know, so you've got the emotionals and the logics, and I've broken them down in the book because um, I know you want details. You know, detail, but it's not fine. <laughs> I told you I can't lie to you. Uh, so basically, um, that's why I want to do notes and everything. But basically, um, does this all make sense to you? Yes. Okay. And. Um, why we're going to do a few things for either the children, we're going to actually do it for the, the twins, uh, for you, 
to calm them down is, I hate to say it, there are a lot of people in our lives that might as well. They could say they're 42 to 62 to 89, I don't care, but they're act like children. So you're going to use the same exercises that we're going to teach for children, but basically use it for, um, I hate to say it, the adults that are acting up or having a tantrum, because I hate to say it, logics are going to start having tantrums, big time. Okay, because they can't, they, they're so fighting themselves that they can't understand that there is a shift, even though they understand theories of Einstein or Newton and everything else on the um, floor of, of you know, certain laws um, of inertia and everything, but you have to understand that it's far more than that, okay? And can't go into the book, it's huge. So, um, does that make sense? Any questions? And please feel free to have questions. You know, I have a lot of questions. Yeah, you have a time. <laughs> she has <laughs> buzzing, yeah, buzzing in her head here. Yeah. So, so they got from a sorry? book. Oh, I know. I'm on the first of January. And I saw the I adding stuff and adding stuff. Because the more I add, the more I want to give you. It's literally a handbook. So you can go back and say, fear. Okay, yes. all of these chapters refer to fear. Um, children, or um, autistic children. I've got a huge one high function, and I do want you, I'm going to try and get you um, on the byline. Uh, I actually taught this class to, uh, in Reno, at the NBC4 Studios, and as I said to Cassandra, um, the president of the Reno, who's actually now president of five TV stations in Las Vegas, they're good friends of mine, and they've got two twins, but the, um, one of the boys is autistic, the other one isn't, which is kind of strange, isn't it? But her younger child is autistic, a girl. So it's kind of weird that she's got two autistic, but he's actually the state um, uh, regulator or something, um, advocate, state advocate for the uh, So I'm going to try and get him to help you and find a new support. Okay, but it's been a bit tight, so I will. I haven't forgotten it. Okay, because that's wrong. We're going to get far more autistic children. It's been an it's an epidemic now. And I confronted somebody on that, and they, they confirmed it. Remember, I'm just doing from scanning. I don't know, so I would say check yourself. Um, but quite frankly, I see it on a total thing, and it is epidemic. And they're dying, people, dying the autistic children now. They were low functioning, by the way. Those two, she didn't allow that, and she's got them to be high functioning now. She refused to do it, so I'm going to ask her to go on, and she's doing a book. She's going, they're trying to fight for, um, to stop the doctors just giving out medication and dumbing the children down. And that's what they do. Because they, they can't be bothered, they're overwhelmed, they don't understand it. So the doctors that don't understand it, just let it go. That's what you're facing, right? I hate to say it. So anyway, we're going to address it. And then I'm going to give you some exercises um, for calming your body down, okay? high blood pressure, whatever it is. So we're going to actually cover quite a bit, far more than I've ever covered before in this class. All right? So you actually regulate yourself that in a, a situation, but you're also, now, how many people, quickly, going around the room, how much do you, this really covers on another class I teach, but I'll do it here. How much do you think you can, um, you can, can control somebody else?